Amen, Bird Life. Magandang, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. At uh, narito po muli tayo sa ating live broadcast ng ating prayer meeting. And welcome everyone! Palapakan po natin si Lord. Hallelujah! 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 Sino pong nagagalak at siya'y narito ngayon ulit na nonood ng ating live broadcast? Say Amen! Yes! Yes, marami pong salamat sa inyong patuloy na pag uh, pag uh, watch sa atin, sa ating mga gawain. I would like to... Um, Uh, uh, greet everyone Magandang gabi po A blessed evening everyone uh, G- Gigi Tunon Lani Radam Barrios Olivia Roy Justi- Pastor Justin Kamusta po kayo dyan sa Baguio Okay At uh, si uh, Kim Is also in, on the house Ang Kalalang Antonet Agka Willilim Rong Katunggal uh, R- Lucky Ramos Good evening po Antonet Siyas at San Pedro And Kamil Buwan is also watching with us tonight. Ayun. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mabiyayang gabi po sa inyong lahat. At tayo po ay mag-umpisa na para t- t- kanina pa po naghihintay ang Lord sa atin. At uh, gusto tayong makapiling ngayong gabi. Ayun. Palakpakan po natin ang Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sige po, i-share po natin yung ating live broadcast sa inyong mga kaibigan, kapatid, kapamilya. Sige po. I-share po natin so they will be blessed as well tonight sa ating pong, uh, sa ating pong uh, live broadcast ng ating prayer meeting. I-share po natin sa ating mga kapatid. Sige po, I will wait for you. Sige po, hallelujah, hallelujah. Sige po, at uh, tayo po ay mag-uumpisa na. Let's start with the song na ito yung kanina ko pa inaawit. No? Sige, awitan natin po ang Lord. Ito po yung awit na nagsasabi ng Lord, I offer my life. Hallelujah. All that I am and all that I have I lay them down before you Oh Lord Oh my my acclaim the joy and the pain I'm making them yours things in the past things in the past things yet and see wishes and dreams that are yet to come true all of my heart All of my praise, my heart and my hands, I lift it to you. Sing. Lord, I offer my life to you, everything I've been through. Use it for your glory, Lord. For your glory, Lord, I 
sing my praise to you as a pleasing sacrifice. Lord, I offer you my Lord, I offer my life to you. Everything I've been through, use it for your. As a pleasing sacrifice, Lord, I offer you my life. For the last time, sabihin natin sa Lord. Lord, I offer my life to you. Everything I am through. Sige, kapatay. Sing my praise to you as a pleasing sacrifice. Lord, I offer you my life. Lord, I offer you and tribulations and sufferings that is over to Him our life our dreams aspirations even our future even your past kapatid over it unto the Lord over it unto Him Hallelujah Yes, O God we praise You we magnify Your name Lord there is none like You Lord There is none like you. For you have loved us with an everlasting love. Inibig mo kami kahit kami po, Lord, ay makasalanan. Kahit noon pa man, Lord, na kami ay makasalanan, inibig mo kami. And it is right for us, Lord, na i-over namin sa iyo lahat. Even ang buhay po namin, Lord, hindi sa amin. Sa iyo pa rin galing. Lord, we pray, O oh God, for your kindness and mercy to each and everyone that are watching right now, Lord. Give us strength. Give us strength, Lord, to stand firm on our faith, O oh God, to hold on to our faith, Lord. We offer to you, Lord, everything that we have, oh, everything that we are, O oh God. To you alone, Lord. To you alone, Lord. All the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Parang pa po sa Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Yon. At uh, 
Uh, alam ko po kayo, eh, lahat po tayo ay excited sa mensahe ng Diyos ngayong gabi. Sino pong excited? Sabihin mo, excited na ako. Amen. Amen. Sige po, at uh, tayo po ay, uh, ano, sino po ang, uh, at, at some point in their life, ay parang they felt ab- alone or abandoned. Sino po ang nakaranas no na parang, um, walang nagmamahal no? like no one cared for them no, this is the message of the lord tonight for you kapatid if you ever felt na sa buhay mo na walang no one cared for you or you felt na you are all alone mag-isa and um, you seem to be fighting a battle on your own i uh, kapatid this is a message of the lord for you i know God knows what you are going through right now. And God wants you to know. This evening, God wants you to know, kapatid, that He cares. That God cares. No? Uh, I remember this uh, story uh, about a German woman living in the city of Marburg. You know? and this happened in the... This is, true, this is a true story, mga kapatid. This happened in December the year 2000. And uh, he died... She died while at home in her flat, no? And um, 10 months later, her landlord um, forced open the door to the flat where she was living. And uh, the landlord was concerned that uh, hindi, hindi, pa, hindi na babayaran yung rent for a long time. You know what? It was only then that her body was discovered. And it seems the woman had lost contact with her relatives and had no friends. And not even one concerned neighbor. No? But this, this is not an isolated instance, mga kapatid. No? Germany ha- regularly has cases where a body is not discovered until weeks, months, or even years after the person has died. In one case, there was a man in Hamburg, Germany, uh, he, he was sitting on a sofa and he died there. And he died watching his, his television for five years. No man, nobody knows that he died already for five years. Imagine that. No? You have, have you ever felt like God doesn't care either? For you, we have certain things that happen in life and we wonder, does God really care? No, ito po yung title ng ating ng mensahe ng Lord ngayong gabi. And the simple answer is, yes, He cares. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, ang sabi po doon, Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. Ulit, ulitin po natin, basahin po muli natin. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, buksan niyo po ang inyong mga Bible. Now, yung, if you have a uh, physical Bible or a Bible app, open it in 1 Peter. I encourage you to open it. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7 po. Ang sabi po doon, Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. Amen po ba? He cares for you. Ito po yung pangako ng Diyos sa atin. No? And uh, you, you might seem to be uh, wondering, Na bakit uh, parang all about anxiety ang ating, um, ang minsahe ng Diyos? Because, really, ganun po yung ating panahon ngayon eh. Because of all the things that is happening around us, that is what going on around the world, hindi po sikreto yan. And it's causing a lot of anxiety on a lot of people. No? It, hindi mo alam kung may trabaho ka, yung iba na wala ng trabaho, and then yung iba naman may trabaho nga, pero when they come to work, they don't know if they're going to uh, mag- mahawa ba sila sa virus. And when they come home, alam niyo po yun, there's a lot of an- anxiety talaga. Ano? Hindi po anxiety. Anxiety. <laughs> anxiety. Ano po? Ano? Talaga pong nakaka-stress, ano? What, what is happening? Pero, Kapatid, with all this thing that is happening around us, ang sabi po ng Lord, cast all your anxiety on God. Sa Kanya po tayo, i-cast natin yung anxiety sa Kanya. 
He is, this is not a separate thing, mga kapatid, that we cast our anxiety to Him. Hindi po yan. Kung inyo pong titignan sa 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6, ang sabi po doon, Therefore, ito po yung magkasunod na verse lamang, ano? Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God that He may exalt you in due time. Casting your anxiety on God is not simply a separate thing that you do after you humble, humble yourself. Kapatid, it is something that you do in order to humble yourself or in the process of humbling yourself. Kung ikaw ay nagahumble sa, sa, sa Lord, you have to cast your anxiety to Him. Tandaan po natin yan. You have to cast. This is part of the process of humbling yourself. To cast your anxiety to Him. Kaya po magkasunod yan, verse na yan, 5, 6, ano? And then, ang ibig sabihin po na yung cast, it, is, it comes from the Greek word ipiripto. Parang prito, ipiprito, ano? Ipiripto. The word ipi means something, some, the, the word so, ipi means apan, o as on top of something. At yung the word ripto naman, it means to hurl, or to throw, ibato, mga kapatid. No, yung po yung ibig sabihin nun. Uh, kaya it, it 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 also it is similar, no, yung yung uh, ipiripto na yan, the same word na ginamit po doon sa Luke chapter 19 verse 35. Ang sabi po doon, and they brought him to Jesus. And they brought him to Jesus, and they cast their garments upon the colt, and they set Jesus thereon. Ibig sabihin ipinatong sam I, unto something. So, kanino mo ipapatong? Ang sabi po, it is important to note this passage for it correctly conveys the idea of the word ipiripto. Yung hindi po ipirito ha. Ipiripto. Which in secular literature often picture the flinging of a ba- garment, bag, or excess weight. You have to throw it off the soul. Kailangan gumamit ka talaga ng ano na I, ibigwas mong ganon mga kapatid, kailangan mong ibigwas to hurl, to throw yun po yung ibig sabihin ng ripto, no, you have to uh, take it up on some, somebody no, kailangan mong ipatong to somebody, yun, ngayon ang sabi po uh, doon sa, sa verse natin, ano, sa, sa donkey or camel or horse, ano one of the greatest things about, the God, about our God is that He commands us To let, to let Him work for us. Ano? Ibig sabihin, gusto ng Diyos, bago, bago ka niya gamitin, gusto niya, ibigay mo sa Kanya lahat ng meron ka. Kasi ang nangyayari, kaya hindi natin nagagawa yung, ating, yung mga pinapagawa ng Diyos kasi you are carrying something sa shoulder mo. So ang tendency, you are busy with the, with the weight that is upon you. And that is why God is asking you and is commanding us to cast it up all unto Him para yung pinagagawa niya ay magawa mo, kapatid. That is so that you will not be ano, burden ng mga bagay na, pinagag- na ginagawa mo. Yun po yung tandaan natin. Kaya po ang sabi niya doon sa Matthew 11.23, Come to me, all of you who labor and are heavenly laden, and I will give you rest. Ayaw kasi ni Lord na ikaw ay mapagod, kapatid. Gusto niya, rest ka lang, kapatid. Sabihin mo, rest ka lang. No? Type mo. Ang sabi po ng Lord, all your anxiety. ba? Diba? Cast all your anxiety. Sabi, itulat mo, all your anxiety. Ano ba yung mga anxiety? Worries, fear, troubles, Stress. Lahat, kapatid, walang ititira. Lahat ng worries mo, fear, kanyatatakutan mo, troubles, problema, nag i sa sa'yo, you cast it all unto Him. Huwag mo nang isipin, ibigay mo sa Lord yan, ipanalangin mo sa Lord yan. Cast it all right now, in Jesus' name, right now. Sinasabi sa'yo ng Lord, lahat ng worries mo, sige, kapatid, i it all unto Him. Right now, in Jesus' name. Sige, ibigay mo sa Kanya. Huwag mo nang pasanin yan. Sabi niya eh, cast all your anxiety. Lahat ng worries mo, lahat ng pag-aalala mo, kinatatakutan mo, 
Bakit natatakot kang mawala ng trabaho? Natatakot kang magkasakit? Ibigay mo sa Lord yan lahat ng troubles. Those who are experiencing mga, mga stress, mga kapatid, ibigay mo sa Lord ngayon. Yan ang gusto ng Lord. Hindi mo kaya te yan. Meses, hindi mo kaya yan. Si Lord, kayang dalhin yan. Gusto niya, ibigay mo sa Kanya yan. Kapatid, ano ba yung mga signs? No, ano, we are not designed to carry the burden of this things. Eh. Ano ba yung signs of anxiety? Baka hindi mo alam na mayroon ka nito. Kapatid, if you feel agitated, yung parang hangos. Alam mo yun sa Batanggay nyo, hangos na hin- para bang <laughs> pandalas na, restless. Kung ikaw hindi mapakali, ikaw ay you experiencing patig, no? parang pagod lagi. Ano? Unable to focus, so, hindi ka makapag-concentrate, may pinagagawa sa'yo, hindi, ka, hindi mo makapa, makapag-focus doon sa ginagawa mo, laging sabog yung iniisig, masyado kang irritable, irritable, mga kapatid, pag ikaw ay may insomnia, hindi makatulog, o sobra, nasosobra ng tulog, ikaw ay may anxiety. You have panic attacks na konting ano lang, parang, ha? Ano na nangyari? Naku, kabadong kabado na. O ikaw ay ayaw mong makihalubilo sa maraming tao. Ano? Ayaw mong makipagsaya, parang ikaw ay naiinis. Pag mayroong may masaya, tumatawa. Ikaw ay may ansayate. Ansayate. Pag walang ansayate. Tandaan po natin yan. If you cast your uh, all your anxiety to the lord mga kapatid masaya te this load is simply too much for the human body tuma tum, mga kapatid simply too much for the human body and the central nervous system uh, yung central ne- nervous system natin cannot tolerate it uh, we may be able to manage it for a while but eventually the physical body and mind will begin to break under this type of perpetual pressure. You know, there was a man who, who went to a doctor and uh, sabi niya, depressed siya. And uh, he was telling the doctor that uh, his life seems harsh and cruel. And he feels that uh, he is all alone and threatening in a threatening world. Parang ang tingin niya sa mundo ay parang kaaway niya lahat. You know? And the doctor says, the treatment is simple. And this uh, psychiatric doctor says, ah, very simple lang yan. You know, there is a clown coming to town. Boyoyong is in town tonight. Eh, ikaw, eh, ano, go and see him. Uh, sabi niya, ah, uh, so nalungkot lalo yung, ano, why? Why are you sad? Sabi niya, umiyak siya, yung man. Doctor, I am Boyoyong. Siya pala yung clown. Ito po yung mga kapatid. In fact, the medical world has confirmed that the major source of sickness is stress and pressure. Hindi po passion ang tao to carry pressure, stresses, anxieties, and worries. This is the reason our body breaks down when undergoes the negative influences for, for too long. If you are struggling with sickness or depression, your condition possibly could be related to stress and pressure. Pressure, And Jesus is telling us in 1 Peter 5, verse 7, no, hindi mo kaya yan. I can, I, let me carry it for you. Let me carry it for you, kapatid. Let me carry it for you. Sinasabi ng Lord sa'yo ngayon, kapatid, ako na, sabi ni Lord, ako na, let me, let me take that load and throw it upon me. Cast your anxieties. And let me carry it for you. No? Yan po ang sabi ng Lord sa gabi. No? Which means, kapatid, kanino po natin dapat, kanino ba ta- talaga dapat natin, ano, i- i- bigay ang ating anxiety. Yeah, you mean, sabi po, on Him. You may tell your griefs to others to gain their sympathy for we are also told to bear ana- one another's burden. Diba? Sabi, bear one another's burden. Diba? Uh, you may ask a friend to help you para 
humingi ng tulong, ano? Para ano? Pero dapat una-una kapatid, ipag-pray mo sa Lord. Hindi yung ipinopos. Hindi yung humihirit ng ano? <laughs> yung halimbawa, ano? Yun, ang lamig-lamig dito, bakit? Naiwan mo ako sa ere. <laughs> Yun. Sabi po doon sa uh, Proverbs chapter 5, verse, uh, uh, chapter 3, verse 5 to 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways. Submit to Him, and He will make your spot straight. Oh, yung po ang sabi ni Lord, if you need healing, by your stripes you are healed. We are healed because Jesus said it is finished. Kapatid, commit the burden to the Lord by prayer. The exercise of casting our burden upon the Lord is completed with prayer. Kapatid, we must not only think about the burden or we will be overwhelmed by it. We must cast our burden upon the Lord. By committing it to His care and resigning that the matter is in His hands already. Hawak na ni Lord yun. Ibigay mo sa Kanya. We must then trust Him to bring to pass what is best according to His grace and wisdom. Because He cares for you. Ah, sabi po ng Lord, He cares for you. Sobra ang care ng Lord sa iyo. Tandaan mo yun. Kapatid, sobrang mahal ka ng Diyos. Sobrang mahalaga ang, ang ikaw sa Lord. Tandaan mo yan. He is interested in every facet of our lives. Di ba nga, every strand nga ng book natin ay, kapatid, nilagyan niya ng bilang. Eh, yung stress mo pa, yung worries mo, lahat yan. Kapatid, alam na alam ng Lord yan, ibigay mo lang sa Kanya. Let Him carry them for you. The Lord is extremely interested sa lahat ng parte ng buhay mo. Concern siya about your welfare. The Lord Jesus cared enough to act in our behalf in order that we might share in His blessings. He cared enough. Mga kapatid, tinan niyo po ang sabi doon sa 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. Ang sabi po doon, For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that though He was rich, Yet for your sake, he became poor, so that you, you through his poverty might become rich. Diba? That's how God cares for us. No, these words, no, yung atin pong binasa, these words relate how deeply Jesus cared about the burden that we are, we have in our hearts. It really shows, pinapakita, inilalarawan, isinasabi ng Lord kung gaano siya kakaring sa atin. We must realize that we don't have to bear the load we are carrying, carrying right now. Jesus is standing right at your, our side. Nasa sabi mo siya ngayon, kapatid. Gustong gusto kanyang tulungan. And He is inviting us to shift the weight from our shoulders to His shoulders. Gusto niya, kapatid, ibigay mo na sa kanya, ilipat mo. Kapatid, ngayon na, nandiyan siya sa tabi mo. By faith, we cast those financial cares up unto the back of Jesus. Ibigay mo sa kanya. Sabi niya, di ba, sa Philippians 4.19, My God shall supply all our needs according to His riches and glory in Christ Jesus. He will supply. He will provide, kapatid. We are set free. From the stress, anxiety, and pressure that we have been weighing us down. Nag, yan yung nagpapa, ano, sa papaluhod sa atin eh. Pero kung ibibigay mo sa Lord yan, kapatid, you will be free. You don't have to carry the whole weight of the world by yourself. Jesus loves you so much and is deeply concerned about you and the difficulties you are facing. That He calls out to you today, roll those burdens over me. Let me carry them for you so you can be free. In order to cast our burdens upon the Lord, you should be able to describe the burden to some degree. Ano ba yan, kapatid? Is it a personal burden that you are carrying right now? 
a family burden, or a church burden? Is it about yourselves, ourselves, or about others? Sabi mo sa Lord, is it about the present, or about the future, or about your past? You have to define it. You have to describe it to the Lord. De- describe your burden. This for us. Para, ano, it is essential for us to casting our cares upon the Lord. Sabi mo sa Lord, Lord, ito po eh. Ang bigat-bigat na po nito. The best way to describe your burden is to verbalize it. Sabihin mo, audibly. Or in writing, kapatid. Sulat mo. O sabihin mo sa Lord. He's listening right now. God cares for you. Sabi mo, Lord, ang hirap kasi ng pinagagawa ng amo ko, hindi ko na kaya eh. Minsan, Lord, hindi naman, ano naman ako tao, hindi ako, di ba, minsan nasasabi natin yun, hindi naman ako uh, makina. No? Lord, hirap na hirap na ako doon sa biyanan ko. Sabihin mo, kapatid, What is causing you anxiety? What is your anxiety right now? Lord, bakit ganon? Hindi kami magkaanak ng asawa ko. Mahaba-haba ng trabaho ko, Lord. Wala na akong panahon. Wala na akong panahon sa family ko. Wala na akong panahon sa, sa ministry, Lord. Ang bigat na nito. Sige, kapatid, sabihin mo, I'm... Lord, yung relasyon ko sa sa aking asawa, sa aking anak, Lord, it's Lord, hindi ko alam kung paano aayusin. Nahihirapan talaga ako, Lord, kung paano aayusin ang relasyon namin mag-asawa ng aking mga anak, Lord. Nadi-discourage ako, Lord. Kapatid, kung dala-dala mo yung worries na ito, yung concerns about your family, your job, your church, or any other areas of your life, why not stop right now and say, Jesus, tawagin mo, ang Lord, right now, sige kapatid, tumawag ka, Jesus, say it, Jesus, ano man yung anxiety mo kapatid, just say, Jesus, call on the name of Jesus, Tawagin mo siya. Katulad ng sinabi niya sa Jeremiah 33.3. You know, Call upon me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things. Sabi mo kapatid, I'm yielding every one of these concerns to you today, Lord. I'm casting my burden on you and I thank you for setting me free. Sige kapatid, sige, ibigay mo sa Lord. I am praying to you right now. Let us pray. Yes, oh Father God. Lord, I'm bigot. Lord, what is on my shoulder right now? And I'm casting it all unto you, Lord. Sa'yo na, kapatid. Sige, kapatid. Ibigay mo sa Lord. Lord, I regret having carried these burdens and worries so long by myself. Na pwede ko naman palang ibigay sa iyo, Lord, for us, for me to be free, Lord. And you are always ready to take them from us, to carry it for us. Lord, salamat po. Salamat po, Lord, sa iyong pangako, sa iyong, sa iyong pagkikare sa amin. Even, Lord, in the midst of all this, Lord, uncertainties and trials and, Lord, and sufferings that we are experiencing, Lord, hindi namin alam kung anong mangyayari bukas. Hindi namin alam, Lord. But you know, O God, and you are already there. You have planned it all along, O God. You have a plan. You have a wonderful plan for each and every one, O God. Lahat ng kapatid ko, Lord, I declare Jeremiah 29.11 in Jesus' mighty name. Lahat ng, ka, ka, ng mahal sa buhay po nila, I declare Jeremiah 29.11 right now in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Lahat po nang nanonood at manunood ng uh, programang ito, ng mensaheng ito, Lord, I declare Jeremiah 29.11 for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Pangako ng Lord. Yan at panghawakan natin yan. 
we hold on to these promises of the Lord. He declares it. He says it. He told us, noong paman, sinabi niya, mangyayari at magaganap ito sa buhay po natin. Let us hold on to the promise of the Lord. Kapatid, cast all your anxieties and hold on to your to the promises of God. Sa pangako ng Diyos tayo magtiwala, kapatid. Hindi sa mga panlilinlang ng kaaway sa buhay po natin. Hallelujah. Pinalaya na tayo ng, ng Diyos. God has set us free. Jesus has said, it is finished. Ah, kapatid, Lord, may, sabi niya, may nanalo na. Tayo yun, kapatid. We are victorious. We are victorious in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We carry the name of Jesus. We are overcomers. Kapatid, hallelujah. Sige, kapatid, lahat ng burdens mo, lahat ng iniisip mo ngayon, whatever it is, cast it all unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, oh God. Hallelujah. We, we don't know, Lord. I don't know. Even me, Lord, hindi ko rin alam what these people are thinking about, what your tr- children are thinking about right now. But you know, Lord, and we are casting it all unto you, Lord. Ikaw na po ang bahala, Lord. We surrender to you, Lord, everything. Lord, lahat isinosurrender namin sa iyo right now, Lord. Even yung kagalingan ng, ng mga kapatid namin, Lord, nung sino man may sakit, oh God, anuman yung, Lord, yung kanilang uh, sakit, anumang disease, Lord, nung dumapo sa kanila, we cast it all, Lord, unto you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let your will be done. Hallelujah. And we declare, Father God, by your stripes, they are healed. We are healed right now in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Ano man, Lord, yung, yung sakit na dumapo sa kanila, Lord, right now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' mighty name, Lord, by your stripes, we are healed. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Pinangahawakan po namin yung mga pangako mo, Lord, na ang lahat ng mga anak mo, Lord, na, 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 na nanampalataya sa iyo, hindi mo ipapaya, ipapahiya, Lord. Hindi mo mapa, hindi mapapahiya. Hallelujah, because we carry the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, we thank you, Father God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lahat po, Lord, ng kapatid ko, na nananalangin ngayon, they are praying right now, whatever they are praying right now, ikaw ang kakatugon, Lord, by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' mighty name, ikaw ang kumakatugon, Lord, sinasagot mo right now, whatever we are praying right now, Lord, we are, hallelujah, hallelujah, lahat, Lord, ng anxiety namin, hallelujah, ang aking mga kapatid, we are casting it all unto you. Unto your pit, Lord. Unto your soldier. Soldier, O oh God. Sa iyong, sa iyong likuran, sa iyong, uh, Lord, sa iyong paanan, Lord. Binibigay na po namin lahat ng ito. Lord, take full control. Take full control, Lord, of our life, Lord. Lahat ng meron kami, Lord, take full control. Ikaw na po, Lord. Hallelujah. Even, Lord, yung aming mga pag-aari. It's all to you, Lord. It's all Ikaw, isa yung po lahat ito. Lord, you have given us this, Lord, this all, all of these um, uh, blessings. Oh God, Ikaw, Lord, ang nagkaloob nito, Lord. Um, blessed be the name of the Lord. Ikaw, patuloy na mapapurihan, Lord, sa lahat ng ito, Lord, nang nangyayari, patuloy, Lord, namin itinataas sa iyo lahat ng ito. Hallelujah. Patuloy kang maghari, Lord. Hallelujah. Katulad dyan sa langit, Lord. Hallelujah. As it is in heaven, Lord, let your kingdom come and your will be done upon each and everyone, Lord, na nakikinig na nunood ngayon. Oh God, hallelujah. Salamat po, oh Diyos. Hallelujah. We declare, Father God, that we are free. Free from anxiety, free from worries and stress. Lord, lahat ng ito. Lord, you are in control. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even, Lord, future namin and our dreams, aspirations, it's all unto you, Lord, where you have a plan for us. Salamat po, O Diyos. Hallelujah. We are praying right now even for our church, Lord, that this message will reach far and wide, O God. I pray, Father God, that the people that we are watching right now will share this, O God, and you will use their life, O God, to, to spread your word, the goodness, Lord, 
the good news, Lord, na ikaw, Lord, you care for us. You really care for each and every one, oh God. You are using each and every person that are watching right now in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Convict each and every one to share this word, oh God. Hallelujah. And we are praying right now, Lord, sa amin pong church, Lord, that... Lord, you will send more workers, O God. Ikaw, Lord, ang magdadala ng mga workers to help us carry, carry the burden that you have set upon us to help us, O God, upang ipa, ipa malita pa, magkaroon pa ng mas malawak na, 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 na makakapakinig, makakapanood ng iyong mga salita, O God. Tulungan mo po kami, Lord. We cannot do this alone, Lord. It's because of you, Lord. It's you, Lord, that is moving in our midst, Lord, right now in Jesus' name. Salamat po, O Diyos. We are praying even, Lord, sa aming bansa, sa, bandang, sa, sa bansang Pilipinas, na, is, na yung pinili, O God. Lord, alam ko, malapit sa puso mo, right? Ang bansa namin, Lord, and you are giving, Lord, wisdom to our president, so President Duterte, Lord, and you will give him, Lord, the, the strength to to remove, Lord, ang matanggal, ang corruption, at ang anuman, Lord, na 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 nagpipigil upang lumago ang bansa po namin in Jesus name I pray Father God for for uh, for revival in our country oh God in Jesus name let your name be praised let your name be magnified Lord sa aming bansa po oh God in let there be revival in I cast out Lord the spirit of idolatry sa bansa po namin in Jesus mighty name at nilalang isang ko Pamula Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, ang aming bansa po, Lord, hindi matatouch, hindi nalalago, hindi pa nadadami ang COVID-19 sa bansa po namin. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah, in Jesus' name, nilalang isang ko ang bawat isa na nanonood right now, Lord, na ni isa man sa amin, eh hindi mahahawa, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, the blood of Jesus and the anointing, Lord, is covering us right now in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. No weapons or plans of the enemy shall prosper in our life because we are covered by the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Let the, the blood of Jesus covers, covers, hallelujah, each and every one right now in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah, heal our land, O oh God, in Jesus' name, hallelujah. Salamat po, O oh Diyos. Ngayon pa lamang, Lord, siniselyohan na namin ang katagumpayan, Lord, ng iyong mga pangako, hallelujah, lahat, Lord, ng, ng pangako mo mangyari, mangyayari at magaganap, Lord. Whatever, Lord, na decree, supplications, declarations that we have uttered, Tonight, Lord, is sealed by the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. And let your name be praised, O Lord. Mataas lamang, Lord, ang iyong pangalan, ang iyong kadakilan, at ang glory mo ang makita sa buhay po ng bawat isa. Lord, we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Sige po, palakpakan po natin ang Lord. Hallelujah. 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 God is good. And all the time, hallelujah. Sige po, let me just, uh, uh, ano, abatiin ko lang po yung uh, uh, mga kapatid natin na uh, nanonood right now. Uh, can, uh, can I have some names? <laughs> Hindi ko na ikita eh. Yan. Sino po ang ano, nanonood? Irene Sales Arcilia. Good evening po. Magandang gabi. Eh, uh, Antoinette siya sa San Pedro, of course, as usual. Ay, magandang gabi po. Um, Claudine Calo, praise God, hallelujah. With, with, salamat po sa inyong pagsubaybay. Uh, um, Josephine J. Bernardo Camara, good evening po. Cristobal Pulig um, and uh, Angela Ka Pulig, magandang magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat dyan. Um, Sino ba? Miko, Ron Katunggal, Lenny Lontok, in Jesus' name, salamat po. May Mary B. Chavez, good evening po sa inyong lahat dyan. And uh, sino pa? Marlon, Pastor Marlon Castillo, Jonathan Jimenez Heron. Shout out po sa buong J. Wandera, magandang magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. 
and man the Jao Francisco. Good evening po. Salamat po sa inyong pagsubaybay. Edski Lazaro. Good evening po. Eric Fern. Magandang gabi. Nika Pital Juan from uh, uh, Musapa. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat diyan. Uh, Pel Peralta, sino pa? Did I miss anyone? Baka ano, uh, Nora Rosel Soriani, blessed evening. Magandang gabi po. Yun. Uh, ha? Si Olivia Roy. Uh, good evening. Ann Kalalang, of course, and Camille Buwan. Yun. Magandang magandang gabi po. At uh, um, uh, declaring blessings and favors sa inyo pong lahat. Uh, God is good po. Mabuti po ang Diyos sa buhay po ng bawat isa. Panghawakan po natin yung mga pangako niya. Because God is not like a man. Hindi po siya nagsisinungaling. Mga kapatid. Tapat po ang Diyos natin at dakila siya. And nothing is impossible to God. And this is your pastor, Pastor Roel Idio from JM Board Dubai. Good evening po and God bless everyone. Click here. Ilitok mo dito eh. Click here. Tiltok mo dyan. Click here. Click here. Click here to subscribe.